Hi everyone, I hope this works because I've tried this several times and it's driving me nuts. Anyway, um, thank you everybody for all your comments recently. I do appreciate them and I'm just letting you see. I mean, it's not how I want it at the moment because I've been out and it, the wind was blowing. But uh, I've just had my hair cut off, look. It was down here to my shoulders and I've had it all cut off. So uh, I feel a bit light I did. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, I just thought you might as well have a look at my haircut. A friend of mine did it for me. And I do like it. It actually is supposed to stick up at the back. You know, they do like that. But, oh, I'll do all that later. I just said crop it off because it was driving me insane. Um, right, you all remember this uh, from yesterday. Mm-hmm, yeah. Right, what I'm going to show you shortly um, are some goodies that I've been buying to go in the giveaways. Because I'm doing a, a, a giveaway with that. Shabby Sheet giveaway. Um, and there'll be giveaways for the other three um, competitions as well. You know, you're going to get some goodies with it. So I'm just going to show you some things. Um, and I'm going to pop the camera back as it was so that you can see them properly because you can't see them stuck in my face. Um, and I just wanted to show and share my new hairdo. I mean, it doesn't look anything like it's supposed to because she just cut it and I said I'll deal with it later. So there you go. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you in a minute. Bye-bye for now. There you are, I'm back with you. Now I just thought I'll show you some of these goodies that I've been buying. Um, and like I say, I'm going to make three kits up um, that go for the competition one, two and three. And then the one for the Christmas tree that I've just got on auction at the moment. The, you're also going to get a, a free um, kit with that as well, shabby sheet kit. But what I've bought um, are these. I mean there's loads in there, there's heaps and heaps of leaves in there. And I got the smaller ones because I don't really have any small ones. So there's those. Got some more of the little bows, cream bows when I do the shabby chic. Um, those type of leaves. They're like a curly leaf. You've got those. Some of those tiny roses. These are foam roses. Because they're always tiny ones are always good to have in as fillers. And I got some of these when I'm doing the mixed media work so that I can paint those. They're quite big. Use them as a main flower. Uh, got some of these little sprays because, um, you know, I'll be doing quite a bit of uh, mixed media work as well. I got some of these little diamante ones to go in my projects because I do like those iridescent ones. I got some of those. Some white leaves because I do use uh, white leaves a lot. Um, and then so they, these are really tiny butterflies. I'm, I'm, I'll get them out and show you in a minute. And then this is just single strand. It's just single. Look, can you see that? That. Because I don't always want um, a thick amount, so it saves me cutting it, get it in ready. So I'm just going to show you these. I love them. I think they're fantastic. Ugh. Look, they're just little butterflies. See, like that. So yeah, they'll come in handy and I can colour them, use alcohol links or whatever I want to use on them. So that's that one. Um, oh, I also found this. Don't ask me what I'm going to do with it. I don't know. I saw it and thought, ooh. Reminds me of um, a firework. But it's like a cone. Like a plastic cone. And a handle, flexible wire handle. Covered in paper, so that can be painted. Gives it a texture already. Um, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. But I'm sure I'll find something out. I'm sure I'll uh, think of something. That's what I meant to say. So I've got those. Got some of those butterflies. Nice colours. These can all be painted, but they're a nice size butterfly for a project. Uh, some more of these flowers. like the blossom um, let's have a look I also bought some more of that I absolutely love that because you just cut it up and put it in with your flowers so that's that some of the tiny roses these are foam roses again and 
then lots of these. Whenever I go to this place, and it's called uh, Country Baskets, whenever I go there, I buy these. They don't sell... I haven't seen these online anywhere. This is from Country Baskets. And I always get a stacking of them because they're well worth it. And they're a nice size flower. Plus, you can colour them and they stay in the shape. So that's those. Then I managed to find this, which I thought was adorable. But I'm not going to keep mine as is. What I'm going to do with mine is I'm going to take off one side. So that that can go on a project, but so can that. So that's that. I then found lots of this bling. Different size bling. Um, seeing as everything is getting blinged up a lot. But it's really good to get that size packet in. Uh, they're wedding diamantes. Um, and it's... Uh, wedding tables. They're on Facebook and Twitter according to this. Let me see if they've got a premium table diamantes, 6mm, tiny and 12mm large. Warning, choking hazard, never. <laughs> and it's www.midwestribbons.co.uk So www.midwestribbons.co.uk there you go. So you can go run along to them and get that. Um, I bit, went back and bought some more of the... Remember the pink I used on the hair for the steampunk? So I've been replaced it because I only had the one. So I bought two of that. Two in that colour. I also bought the uh, beige one. Paper covered wire it's called. Ten metres. And I bought the green. One green. Two brown. Two pink. Also got the pearls, which are the six millimeter pearls. So I was running low on those. Topped up with the diamante chain again. Now I have to tell you, Country Baskets are selling all of this. Um, and this I only paid, I think it was one, one either one ninety nine or two ninety nine for that. Now you know how expensive it is, and you get in. Um, I'm not sure how many yards you get on it, but it's, it's three or four yards. For that price, don't go, you know, you can't go wrong. Also ordered these as well. The butterflies, because I like those in my projects. So let's just put those in there. So I went and had my hair cut and went straight over to Country Bastic. Bas oh, Bastics. Baskets. <laughs> and uh, did my shopping. I also picked up these butterflies. Some nice coloured butterflies. The wedding um, petals, single petals. Uh, the diamante on a wire. Now, the thing is, I've bought the bag of those. Now, yeah, these have got holes in. Those of others haven't. But you can. If I'll show you how to make those using those diamantes. We'll do that next, I think. And then I got some of these, which are the Blossom in the Pink. Okay, so that's what I bought. Um, let's just show you when I find out where everything is. Let's get these back. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do those. First of all, I need some wire. Here's my wire, so I'm going to show you how to make them. Well, I might as well. Let's have a look. They're only using thin wire, so you get your wire. Glue guns on. Now, take a small instrument. Now, you need to work out where you want your stems. I do individual stems and put them all together. So, you need to wrap that around. Give that a twist. A couple of twists. Take that off. Okay. These are so easy. I only bought those so that I knew how, you know, I could study them and see how uh, they need to be put together. So this is so easy. Now, 
take out your diamante and you see it's got a point take the bit of wire pop the glue on and then pop that on the point like that and let that set and hey presto you've got one of those good yeah <laughs> so we'll just leave that to set take another bit of wire and just do a smaller one just to show you you can do them any size this is just garden wire where's my spike again we want the smaller one pop that down towards the end like that take out one of the tiny you, you can either do it this way just put a bob, a bob a dob of glue on there and then hold your spike and pop that in on the corner like that and there you go you've got that one you once that's dry you can then go around and twist all your your wire I mean like that that's dried so now what I do is twist it like that join the two together like that twist I mean you do so many together put them on a uh, different lengths I haven't twisted that one yet but uh, just turn it round to where you want them and look there you go just as quick so yeah I've given you the address where you can get them from. I'll give you that again, www.midwestribbons.co.uk. You get um, I don't know how many is in the bag. There's quite a few. It doesn't say. But look, and you can make those till your heart's content. Let me just twist that one now. Very easy. Uh, and I won't need to pay the money I paid for those. But they're in the wedding sections um, at Country Basket, so they will cost you some money. I mean, it is a warehouse as well, but if you're not a member, you'll have to pay what price they say online. Um, but as you can see, let's just have a look. They're no different as those. Just set them out how you want them. Do you remember when I bought this? Well, I'm going to turn that into a steampunk dress. A steampunk um, dress form. I absolutely love this. I'm not going to keep it denim, but I love the lace back up, the, you know, the lace up there, up the back. Um, and I just think I'm going to paint that brown and I'm going to make that into a steampunk dress form. And some lucky winner is going to get that because it's going to be a competition. <laughs>